Hey, good morning. I pulled a card. I pulled two cards because I didn't do a card yesterday. And I'm already like 10 days not doing really a tarot tutorial. So this is Five of Cups. And in Five of Cups is this man and he's dressed in this black cloak. Um, and he's like got his head bent down. So he's like emotionally going through something. These three cups here have been spilled over and it shows kind of like him focusing on these these bad things that have gone on emotionally where behind him is two cups sitting up and because he's so focused on the three that he spilled over that he doesn't really he can't he's not paying attention to what is um, emotionally available or you know what's good um also there's he's there's this um body of water like a river or a lake and on the other side is a house and he has this bridge behind him that he could cross over to make it home so it, it shows like he's really in his emotions right now which are like whatever he's dealing with so much so that he's not really paying attention to the, the good emotional things around him, like home, you know, this op this like this opportunity right here, these um, the emotional uh, things that he that are good in his life. Um, I'm gonna look up more meanings. So five of cups is one for today, and then. I also picked another card since I'm behind. I'm going to do that later. So, yeah, it's about disappointment and not being happy about things going out the way that you thought it should. So, yeah, these cups here, I guess, where it emotionally went wrong. And one thing I could think about, yeah. I mean, it's been times that I put my heart and soul into things, um, expecting this outcome, a certain outcome wishing really hard and um yeah some things are so out of your control you know and no matter how much you try and wish and hope it's not gonna happen it's just not meant to happen and uh yeah you feel really disappointed i'm gonna look up some more stuff though one more thing about cups is about you know thinking with your heart your emotions Instead of using your head, your intellect, uh, maybe, you know, doing things like on a whim because it's, you know, it's, you're leading by your, your emotions. Um, and like mean creativity, imagination. So I really like that. Um, but I'm going to look up more stuff about it and see. Just cups in general, though, you know, so. So, this is the card about crying over spilled milk. So, it's it's talking about focusing on a loss that you've already, it's something that you can't win. You've lost this thing, and now you have to deal with the grief, or maybe allow yourself to deal with the grief, and then also, like I said, see the things that are around you eventually like you know however you have to deal with the grief um and it really makes me think really like about this one thing that you know or you know it made me think about a lot of times yeah like when you put so much your effort into something and it, you lose it and um or you can't win it and and you really have to come into terms that that thing is lost or it's not something you really can achieve um but it also speaks about like making it out to be bigger than what it is or, you know, or maybe it was big, but, um, you know, you, you need, to need to take the time to like grieve or look around you and see the good things that are around you, like these cups back here, the bridge, home, you know, so. Okay, excuse me. So yeah, just trying to wrap it up. So Five of Cups, yeah, it's about the grief that you experience, um, that 
you know, crying over spilled milk. Um, one thing that comes to mind is like, I remember, you know, with mom, my mom, or like older adults, sometimes they would like speak sense to you in a way like, you know, like, I don't know, with age, I think, you know, you have all these experiences and they they shape you and shape who you become and whatnot. And so, yeah, when my mom or a, 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 a older person would tell me like to do something or see something in a different way, sometimes it was hard for me. Like I could see what they were talking about, like yeah, common sense or yeah, that would be the better solution. But it wasn't like until I went through it, did I really gain the the know-how or the or really learned my lesson until you know you know I, I did it and got hurt by it um almost like you know touching the stove like you know your parents said don't touch the stove but you touch the, the fire on the stove and you burn yourself and then now you like you know for sure you know like not to touch the stove so so yeah, so this person, you know, they, they're going through this grief. Someone pointed out that there's blood coming out of the cups and there is red liquid. So I suppose it is blood. I think most of the time it's water. So it could be like a, a loss, but mainly loss of a relationship. And just this person's just focusing on the loss and not able to see what's going on around them. Now reverse is that the person is dealing with the loss and it's is taking these two cups and like trying to work it out with what he has available you know going across that bridge and getting to the castle or to the, the house or you know just you know trying to heal and not so much like this one is focusing on the grief this one is doing like you know accepting the grief and doing what they have to do to get over it um so yeah, I've definitely been in this place. I think, like, leaving New York, I was... I had to do it, like... Um, I think leaving New York, like, it, it was like I knew what was best for me. And, um, and I was doing a lot of things. I've done a lot of things since I've left New York. But part of the reason why I left New York, which was like dealing with some sort of like stress, it followed with me. Like I was still focusing on what hurt me back then. And, um, but also was at the same time trying to do this, which was like trying to heal myself from what had hurt me, but also focusing on what had hurt me. So, and, and just like I said with, um, like you learn from the experience, um, you know, I had to go through it in order to understand it, you know, or I had to have the experience because if it hadn't happened then, it would have happened eventually. I would have um, had the experience somehow because it was like the experience is what really taught me like never to go back to that place and never do that thing again or you know and now if something like that comes about I'll be able to see it for what it is and handle it better so um so yeah five cups hope that it helps um I grasp it uh cause it's definitely been sometimes that this has been me so alright have a good one